Hi, my name is Katrina E. Wayne Tong. I'm eight years old. I started karting when I was seven years old. How many years I did go kart is one year. I am also in a beginner in go kart. I am also in cadet class. Five years until I am junior class. There is also a driving a driver of go kart too. She's not driving anymore. She is still driving, but it's just that her her feet hurts. Her left feet hurt because when she breaks with her left feet, it really hurts so bad. So she cannot drive as much. But yeah, but but when she recovers, she can drive back again. Chriselle is being told. We have two parents. I'll introduce my parents too. So let's do it. I have a coach named Uncle Wai Long. Uncle Wai Long has, um, has a son named Oscar, and he's a teenager already. I think he's a junior or senior, I don't know, but I know he's a teenager already. You can see from the beginning of this go-kart trailer of me, you can see that I'm actually where I practice my go-kart stuff. I, I'm in Sha Lam, that's where I practice my go-kart. And in the beginning of the video, I show you that I, that I was from, that I raced from Sha Alam. So, yeah. In go-kart, you want to hit your personal time like 101 or 120 or stuff. Like example, I want to hit 104, and you cannot just be saying, "Oh, I can't do it. I'm not confident." But you have to, you have to really say yourself that you're, you have to you have to say that you're confident in yourself. You can't just be, again, you cannot just be saying, "Oh, I can't do it." You can actually do it from your heart. And if you have a coach or parents or you have your mom or your dad to come to go or both of your parents to come um, um, when example if you have your parents to come to the go-kart truck with you um, like if you have your of course you have your parents if you your parents you don't have a coach but you have only your parents and your mechanic the mechanics to fix to fix your car make sure everything's all stable but for your parents if you don't have a coach or anything if like the parent knows all about go-kart or just knows go-kart a lot and they're expert cars like what my dad is then you ha when they tell you what to do in the go when you're driving like at the brake turn full throttle fast um you have to brake turn full throttle in the corners you have to do what they say because if you don't do what you say then what's the point of they telling you if you don't do it so they have nothing to do you have nothing to do with it so yeah so and then and after that you can't fix your problem then there'll be a problem already so you have to fix your problem while everybody in the Sha Alam track like who is the owner and everything tell you what to do in the go kart track to drive faster to break turn foot truck too fast as you can you have to do it because if you don't do it then you will never ever improve so yeah so if you're like a kid at class like me like if you have your first ever race or like if you have your first or second or third race how much race you have and you're still um you, you had to win yet and some of some of the race that you hadn't did like your first or second race you still didn't win yeah that's how it is like in the beginning when you're like me of course you will lose because you're not as professional as 101 as other people are like in junior and senior so first you will lose but when you keep if you keep like being 104, 104, 103, 102, and 101, then you can start to feel like you're gonna start to win a lot of trophies and you can bring your trophy home. So in the beginning, it's really hard to win a trophy because you're a cadet class and cadet class, some of them cannot win a real trophy when they're a beginner like cadet class like me. So and then when you like, 
101 or something, you can, or 102 or 100 something, but not 108. Or 109, you cannot. Or 107, you cannot do it. And 106, you cannot make a trophy. But I'm 106, so I still had to win a trophy yet. But I'm really fast. But, so you have to keep being faster and faster until, and then when you are a professional, like 101, woohoo, that's your final destination of your time. After that, you are starting, you can start to notice that you keep winning trophies and you can bring your trophies home, like what I said before. So, yeah, I hope you like this go kart journey of my trailer of what I do and everything. And I'm just gonna, just gonna say goodbye to everyone. So, bye. If you're playing go kart, this is some some tips for you of what you need to do if you didn't are not good at everything but yeah bye